Hey everybody, what's going on? Hey, I just wanted to take a few minutes here. Um, I've done a couple of videos previous to this one about uh, setting up Rat Poison Window Manager. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to show you my semi-finalized product. Um, it's not completely done, but it's to the point now to where if I want to live in it for a while, then it won't be an issue because uh, my workflow is pretty much there and everything I need for... Um, functionality and everything is there um, so this is this is it here um, and you can see it's uh, just pretty plain looking I've just got my wallpaper but then I have a uh, a basic bar across the top that's got my uh, information that uh, my necessities uh, my battery uh, battery shows discharging a little down arrow um, it's at 90 percent my Wi-Fi shows okay um, volume setting um, what kernel I'm on and um, uh, how many updates I have on my system. Um, the only issue with this is Rat Poison doesn't like to allow the bar to remain visible when you open something. Um, so I have a pretty simple little workaround for that. Um, basically, all I have to do is, um, if I'm working in there and I'm concerned about my battery, if I press the escape key and then press B, um, you see this little dialog box comes up. Again, right there, that shows I'm at 90% left, the little battery in there that's half lit shows me that it's discharging and not charging um, and as far as volume if I just use my volume keys um, press alt the escape key and then use a the volume key um, again I have the um, little notification that pops up um, tells me what my volume set at uh, it'll tell me if it's muted or not um, I can lower the volume so um, just real simple so I can actually uh, still uh, work without having to switch back over to the um, to an open desktop to where I can see my bar so it's kind of nice um, and those notifications are run through notify send um, just little scripts that I uh, have that run notify send and uh, through dunst and give me notifications um, so basically um, my bar is basically set up here pretty simple little script um, it's got volume um, where it pulls also mixer, um, got my upgrades script, uh, just checking for updates and then prints out. Um, the check updates command shows what programs need to be updated, but then when you run it through uh, word count or WC and then dash L flag for lines, it's going to count how many lines and that will give me how many, um, basically how many lines or how many updates I have. Uh, then we just print that out and print it to the bar. Um, kernel, nice and easy. Um, kernel equals uname dash r and then we e echo the kernel parameter um, or variable um, and then we got my battery uh, here um, and it's going to check what percentages it's at and everything but basically in the end um, it's going to give me bat stat which basically is the status which is going to tell me if it's charging or discharging if it's charging and it's going to give me the little up arrow. If it's discharging, it's going to give me the down arrow or a V, but <laughs> still. Um, so, like I said, if you do, uh, if we go over to my deal, you can see the little arrow right here. Uh, shows me it's discharging. So, um, and then battery, run battery is going to do the capacity. And so that's going to show me a percentage. Um, and then basically my Wi-Fi setup um, just checks the Wi-Fi. Um, if I got wi if I have Wi-Fi, I don't really care if I know how strong it is or not. As long as I have Wi-Fi, it's going to tell me it's okay. And if I don't, it's going to tell me it's no good. Um, then you come down here um, and you run basically sleep for two seconds. Um, so it's going to run it. And it's going to sleep for two seconds, and then it's going to loop and run again. Um, basically, this is just a play on my bar action dot sh for my Spectre. WM window manager. Um, I took a few things out of it. Um, icons and stuff didn't seem to want to work and I didn't want to spend a bunch of time trying to figure that out but um, I might eventually um, if I decide to start living in this for a while and actually like it as much as I've been enjoying it you know maybe I'll maybe I'll switch from Xmonad and DWM but we'll see. I'm kind of a window manager junkie. I've got about 10 of them installed on my system right now that are actually set up and working and ready to I could use at any time. I think I got a couple more that I haven't even touched yet, um, but I just enjoy messing around with the window manager. So, um, so yeah, that's that's my bar script. Um, and then if we come over here to Workspace One, um, you see that's I like this right in the center here. If you remember from my other video, originally it comes out up here, but 
Um, I'm just kind of go over this real quick. Um, this is my rat poison, uh, dot rat poison RC in my home directory. Um, I wrote it on August 9th of uh, this year. Um, my auto start stuff basically just sets my wallpaper via X wallpaper. Um, I do have the option here because um, this will go in my GitLab and GitHub repository. So if anybody wants to use it, feel free. Um, but I do have the other option here. You can comment X wallpaper out and um, uncomment nitrogen if you use nitrogen. Um, you can use Faye as well. Whatever you just have to add the add the line for it. Maybe I'll go in and do that um, and comment that one as well. But um, we'll see. Um, then we have system issues uh, or system auto starts, which uh, this user bin our PWS, uh, if we remember from my other video, was the workspaces. Um, so this allows me to have workspaces. Uh, PyCom is obviously uh, my compositor. Um, and then I have Conky, um, but I have it commented out. I'm not sure if I uh, want to use it. I use it on most of my machines, but or on most of my managers, but um, I haven't decided on this one yet, you know. Um, and then we have mouse here, which oh, we got a typo right there. So let's take care of that while I'm thinking about it. Otherwise, I will forget mouse. So this is mouse. Um, execute rat poison C banish. If you remember from my other video of that, when you start uh, rat poison, that banishes your mouse down here to the corner. Um, I did, however, comment this out. I, in my last video, I couldn't get sloppy, which is the focus follows mouse. I couldn't get that to not work like it was constantly following the mouse and it was annoying so um, I thought you couldn't do that by commenting this out but um, apparently I was wrong I commented it out and it started uh, it went back to normal so see if we do a split uh, focus doesn't follow mouse anymore um, you actually have to alt tab or uh, escape tab to go between the between the splits, uh, which is nice because focus follow mouse follows mouse is nice sometimes, but on this one it's really a pain because if you have your mouse hovering down here and you try to switch focus to the top window, it won't do it. Um, so with focus follows mouse on, that becomes kind of a headache. So um, with it off, uh, I can just use the escape tab and it'll switch back and forth between the windows. Yeah, so that's that. Um, this is my bar. Like I said, um, I'm using DZen, um, and I've just piped that bar.sh, um, kind of that makeshift version of my bar action for Spectre Window Manager, or Spectre WM. Um, I just piped that into DZen2, and it runs it up there. Uh, I've got a couple other options here. This was just, uh, uh, this just kind of echoed <laughs> Jake's across the top. I was playing around with stuff, but um, you could change that and put right whatever you wanted to in the parentheses there, and it would uh, print it out in your bar instead of having information. Um, and then DZ Conky um, gives me another version of the status bar, which I'm not real fond of. So um, it does work. It does give me all the the stuff that uh, is required, but it, it's not as nice looking. Not that this bar is fancy by any means, but it looks a heck of a lot better than the uh, DZ Conky did. Um, these settings here, the um, the warp and the uh, or the uh, <clears throat> transgravity and wind gravity and the border and the padding and all that stuff right in here is for the dialog box. Uh, this little guy that pops up here, um, that moves those all those move it from up here to the center. Um, change the background, the foreground color, the font, and the uh, font size. Um, that's basically all this stuff here uh, does that. So if you wanted to move it from the center, then you could change these um, settings here, and you could move it around. Um, but again, I like it in the center. Um, then we have the escape key here. Um, like I said, when you start out on Rat Poison, uh, Control T, I believe, is the escape sequence before you can use a um, before you can use a hotkey. Um, kind of Emacs ish. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really care for that too much. Um, I actually found a really cool way to do this. So most of my key bindings I use the, or most of my window managers, not most, all of them, all of my window managers, I use alt for my super key or for my uh, mod key. Um, I don't like the super key. It's just too far away. It's too much of a reach for, for me. And uh, it's just easier to get to alt. Um, but what I found is, um, on Rat Poison, you know, you have to take the escape key to be able to use any of your keybinds. Well, on my other window managers, most of my <clears throat> keybinds include Alt, Shift, and then whatever key. Well, I found, 
At first I thought doing this I would have to hit Alt and then hit Alt Shift in my, my keybind, you know, and it's like it's just one extra step, you know, but it was a little irritating. But I found that as long as I press the Alt key first and then hit Shift in my other key, it acts just the same as my other window managers. There's no extra key presses required. So instead of doing Alt and then Alt Shift B, which works and launches the browser, I can just go Alt Shift B and it launches the browser. So it's just like having my other key bindings on my other system for most of my stuff. Um, as far as Brave, um, Firefox is the same way. Just a quick Alt Shift A. As long as I press that Alt key first, which is you know the escape key, the other keys it works just like my other one. So it's going to be real. It's going to be a real simple transition, which is really nice. I'm really going to like that. And I think I might start living in Rat Poison for a bit just because it's not going to be as difficult as I thought it was. <clears throat> so if I hit Alt Shift Return, <coughs> excuse me, which is my normal key binding for my terminal. Again, it comes right up. So kind of cool. Excuse me. <coughs> but these are just my basic key bindings. Um, um, I'll shift R's for my Rofi, which for some reason my Rofi config isn't working. That's kind of a really basic one. Um, mod shift D is my D menu. Uh, my D menu is usually centered. I still got to fix that. Um, and then obviously uh, I can do that's going to bring up alacrity. Um, I have mod shift E. This is for editing config files. I just have a list of a script that runs and shows my config files. I also have one if I do mod shift I that shows all my browsers that are installed. It's for <coughs> for <coughs> if I wanted to use Dubl, I could just hit enter and excuse me one second. Man, sorry. And I could launch Dubl. It's kind of a weird browser, but or if I wanted to, you know, maybe do my own. I'm I'm actually making my own browser right now. I'm in the process. That's Jake's. Um, so that's that's my personal browser right there. I'm I'm working on, but I could launch that one. Um, Min. <clears throat> could launch that. <clears throat> So, um, those are all the browsers. Um, I also have Mod Shift F set up for a script to run and open my file managers. Um, I don't use those two very, <clears throat> very often, but so yeah, that's kind of that. Um. <coughs> so if we go down in a little farther, um, we have these keybinds here. Capital S is going to give me a vertical split like this. Um, uh, dang it! Did I just I just closed out of it. I didn't want to do that, but <laughs> let's do this. <clears throat> let's get back into that Vim uh, Rat Poison RC. Um, R is going to give me a horizontal split like that. Um, I can if I do a horizontal split. Then I can use Alt Escape to move between the between the um, frames. Same way if I'm using the uh, <clears throat> use the Alt arrows to move between the windows, whether it's vertical or horizontal. <coughs> Man, I'm really sorry. Um, and then. Uh, Mod capital Q will kill the split. Um, again, if I hit Alt and then B, that gives me my battery. And actually, if I do Alt and then F1, that shows me all my key bindings that I have set up, which is kind of nice. So if I'm ever stuck or I forget something, I can just hit Alt and then F1, and it shows me all of my all my different key bindings I've set. And every time I add a key binding, it's added on here automatically, which is nice. Um, and then I have my um, volume and brightness keys and my multimedia keys to um, <clears throat> play my music player. 
and then I have my keybinds for my uh, windows. So if I Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt, <coughs> Alt 5, you can see it's switch in workspaces. So <coughs> that's that. So again, I, I apologize for the, the coughing a bit here. I've, uh, I've got a little bit of a cold going through the family, and um, I'm just. Uh, just kind of getting over it, but I've still got a little bit of a tickle in my throat, so I apologize for that. But yeah, that's that's my um, rat poison uh, window manager now. It's uh, livable, it's usable. Um, I think I might uh, take some time and live in this for a little bit. We'll see. But I just kind of wanted to show you what uh, what a semi-finished product looked like since I've uh, had a couple other videos that uh, you guys have been so gracious enough to to sit through and watch. So. Yeah, again, this stuff will go into my uh, GitLab and my GitHub repositories, so feel free to uh, check those out. If you want to use anything, go ahead and uh, just grab it. Um, it's all there for you. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and you guys have a good evening, and God bless.